on my time portal. Wow! A real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere! Nowhere at all! I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. Oh, what was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. It's Cartown New... 
Mr. Firebird, a well-known tinkerer, thrilled scientists around the globe with his announcement of a time portal device yesterday. Here's the coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt-Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. <laughs> Holy Gatcan! This shouldn't be happening! Putt-Putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality! These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. Looking around in the time continuum. What things have all within? One, two, three, four. Doors that lead through it to places in time for you. That's where you'll find Pep. And my homework? We feel it sad that your homework is gone. And everything's wrong, but it won't be for long. But when, when you look up, you'll see the time doesn't stop. Because it goes on forever. Goes on forever? Goes on forever. And really neat future thing. When you return, you'll know what you'll learn. Pay close attention, stay on your mission. To see new dimensions. And, and when, when you look up, up you'll know that time doesn't stop. Because it goes on forever with you. the age of the dinosaurs. I can't go. There's something gigantic blocking the road. And who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt-Putt, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I really appreciate it. Thanks! Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle! Whoa, it's a big one! I can't wait to tell Mr. Firebird I met a real live dinosaur! Thanks a 
lot must be. It's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Whoa, it's heavy! Now I'm off to explore the age of the dinosaurs. What we got here is your basic mess. Hello, I'm Putt Putt. Do you need some help? Yes, but first you gotta tell me what in the heck is a Putt Putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa! Imagine that! I'm Leo. Glad to meet you. Hey, Pike, how'd you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rock? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. Full speed ahead! <laughs> that was fantastic! Stupendous! Pike, you cars from the future? sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks! Uh-oh, big time problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic <laughs> pentagon. Will, guess what? I found a rock, and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. Well, what do you know? I need to find a rock in the shape of a pentagon before I can cross the bridge. Excellent! Fantastic! Thanks a gazillion putt! Well, I'm homeward bound! Come visit any old time you like! I can't quite reach. Look at that! It's an apatosaurus. An itchy and a horribly miserable apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt Putt, and maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, Putt Putt. I'm tough. I can take it. Just oh, scratch that spot, please. to the left. A little more to the left. A bit more to the left. Ah! Oh. Now go up just a bit. Oh! Go a little to the left. Oh, yes. Oh, that's it. Oh, now I can relax. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Thanks for scratching my back, 
but I owe you one. You're welcome. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Compignathus. That there is my very hungry buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Putt-Putt. Hello, Mr. Triceratops? I don't think that Triceratops notices me at all. He's much too busy eating. That guy, my friend, is always busy eating. On a good day, he could go through a couple of bushes and nothing flat. You don't know how hard it is to be best friends with a Triceratops. I mean, I'm two feet long on a good day, and he's at least 36 feet long. It's a heck of a thing. It's my history report. I think I better get that Triceratops to move before I pick it up. Excellent idea, my friend. Nobody but nobody gets in between a Triceratops and his dinner. Follow the volcano. Here you go. See if you can match this one. Now it's your turn. Now see if you can match that. All right, go for it. All right. 
You get the idea. All done? Then click on the flashing arrow. vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't. I'm Pat Pat. I never hurt anyone on it. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. So, uh, which one's fine? Let's move that one. <laughs> uh, there. Let's move that one. One's fine. I sure had fun playing with those rocks. Thanks, T-Rex. subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes! Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps 
see you later, Pat Pat. Bye. <laughs> something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. <laughs> it seems that the rains have rested the gate shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. <laughs> Ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. Look at that huge pile of hay. Hay is usually for horses, but if it pleases you, help yourself. Thanks. It might come in handy. You never know. in handy. these here parts. No, I'm not. I'm Putt-Putt, and I've traveled here from the future. Sure you have. The name's Lurleen. What can I do for you? I'd like to look around, if you don't mind. Not a bit. Not at all. I'd like some chewy, fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. Horse feathers. <laughs> well, I'll be swagging. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hey, Sonny, you didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Pique your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up. Why, I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. Huh? Regarde, ma chérie. little guy on four wheels. What can I do to help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was hoping I could have a look around. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, you go ahead and make yourself comfy and stay just as long as you ever love and please. Thanks, Miss Electra. I will. For golly sakes. Excuse me, Miss Electra. What kind of machine is that? Why, it's a battery-making machine. You can help me make some if you like. Wow, that sounds like fun. Well, would you look at that? Welcome to the paint o 3000, the automated painterizer. Scanning process initiated. Painting process initiated. Painting completed. We hope that your paint over experience has been a pleasant one. I look good. Thank you. And enjoy for new time. Scanning process initiated. Painting process initiated. Painting completed. We hope that your paint over experience has been a pleasant one. I look good. Thank you. And enjoy your new color. can make me a battery with 12 volts. Just punch in the number of volts you want and the machine, bless its heart, will do the rest. Okay, I can do that. I'll start with one volt. I still need more volts of power so I can have a total of 12. 
One plus five equals six volts. I still need more volts of power so I can have a total of twelve. One plus five plus six equals twelve volts. That's it! Twelve volts of power. I'm all done, Miss Electra. Nice job, Putt Putt. Aren't you the whiz kid wonder with that battery maker? Well, would you look at that? Welcome to the Pedorama, the make-it-yourself pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! Your order has been acknowledged and accepted.
Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. But you may call me R.T. Fact. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was hoping I could look around. That is acceptable. Please stay as long as your schedule permits. If you have any questions, I will answer them for you. One ancient toasting device, circa 1989. Two crates of plastic children's toys from the late 20th century. <laughs> it's a newspaper in ancient writing. It's a stone bowl in ancient food container. It's an abacus, an ancient mathematics artifact. Excuse me, I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from the past. 
I thought this was a library. Where's all your books? My, my, you are from the past, aren't you? Nowadays, all books can be found on our computer. Usually, when you find what you're looking for, I can make a copy for you. But unfortunately, at the moment, we're out of paper. By the way, my name's Darian. Darian the Librarian. Glad to meet you, Darian. The large pig was hungry. He ate three pink petunias. His pet dog ate the scraps. Darian said that I can't get a book right now. He likes it. I'm telling you, the guy's a total herbivore. Here you go, boy. Time for it. that the rains have rested the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. That's the water tower. 
You still interested in being a junior conductor, sonny boy? Offer still stands. Sure, I'd love to. Well then, how's about oiling me up? This script scratch in my throat's about to drive me plumb crazy. Don't worry, I'll oil you. You can count on it. It's a rope. It's an oil can! A little on the wheels will do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that old can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. A nickel for the chewy fruity wagon wheels. Help yourself, it's all yours. Help open that rusted gate. A thousand and one thank yous, Putt Putt. Now we won't be late for story time. Bard Max Wellington, who loves to play the lute. I once thought of being a piper, but I cannot play the flute. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Sir Blaze, that is extremely impolite. Give the little fellow his lunchbox, please. Wow. I am terribly sorry about my dragon. He's a bit out of sorts today. He hasn't had a morsel of dragon food to eat all day. Do you think if I gave him some dragon food, he'd trade it for my lunchbox? <laughs> Uh, I suppose you should interpret that as a yes. Here, Sir Blaze, I have some food for you.
many apologies for my dragon's ill manners. He is a very picky eater and will only eat dragon food. I'll just have to go back to the future and make some dragon food. Appreciate this. Dragon, 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 look what I have! Oh my goodness, he was hungry! Hmm. Coming along nicely. My lunchbox! Now all I have to do is get my calculator, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Hello, I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, uh, yes, you must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend, I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. Welcome, ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt-Putt. And I am King Chariot. 
Thou hast arrived just in time to hear a reading from the Royal Joke Book. Oh, that sounds like fun! Hmm, now which one shall I read first? I like stories of far-off places, of unicorns and dragon chases. I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll bet I can do that. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. Hello? Hello? Oh. Now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to next stop? Gold River. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, young'un. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? Uh, uh, what, what's that say? Have I sold much silver? I'm looking for gold, boy. Gold! I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Well, looky here. Dang, blam it. It's just a bunch of old rusty keys. Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can take them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good-for-nothing keys, is all. You never know. They might be good for something. Hot and dry. It's the desert. Woody, look at that! Animal tracks! I wonder where they go!
It's an armadillo! You're kind of cute for such a funny-looking guy, aren't you, boy? Hubcap Hill, here we come! It's my calculator! Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine! Back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird. Guess what? I did it! I did it! I found all my things. And Pep, too. Congratulations, Putfoot! I knew you would! Now I can finally show you my new school supplies. Excellent, Putt-Putt. But first, I must close the time portal for good. We don't need any more disasters. Disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt-Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yikes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. Now let me tell you what I learned. Thank <laughs> you. 